someone called me out on YouTube and they said, Dylan, if you know everything about soccer and you're so good, why aren't you a professional player? And this is a very valid question. It's a question that's come up a few times and I thought, hey, let's make a video about this. Let's put it all out on the table. Number one, until, <laughs> until Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo comes out with a YouTube channel and starts putting out videos every day, who else are you gonna listen to? This is pretty much the best thing you've got on the internet. So you might as well take advantage. Number two, you don't have to listen to anything I say. This is simply my advice. These are my recommendations. I'm not claiming to be the expert who knows everything. I'm just putting my advice. This is stuff that works for me. These are mentalities, these are tips, these are strategies that work for me and I believe they will work for you regardless of whatever level you're at. Finally, uh, before I get into the main points of why I'm not professional, I wanna say you may have way more potential than me and I hope you do. I hope you become a better player than I've ever been or ever will be. If you do that, then I have been successful in my pursuit of making you a better player. So you may have way more potential than me, but you'll never reach that potential if you don't adopt these mindsets and you're not open to advice from other people. You may get the best advice ever from someone who is a way lesser or not as good of a player as you are. Okay, but if you think you know everything, then you'll never be able to improve. I have a little saying that I always say to myself, and that is, if you think you know everything, you obviously know nothing. When you know you know nothing, that's when you know something. And basically what that means is, smart people, people with wisdom, very experienced people, know that there's tons of stuff that they still don't know. It's the fool who thinks they know everything that actually knows nothing. Okay, so be open to advice from other people. And I'm getting really philosophical here. So let's end that thought right there. And let's get into the main reasons why I'm not professional. Number one main reason, I wasn't serious about it when it was very important for me to be taking those steps. When I was, let's say like 16 to 21, I wasn't pursuing professional football in any way, shape, or form. And if you are in those ages right now, this is the most important window of opportunity for you. If you can get into a youth academy, let's say like you live in England or you live in Germany or you live in a country with a good professional system and they have youth academies, the best thing you can do is get involved when you're 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. You can get involved in youth academy. That's the best thing you can do. Next, you need to be start going after those opportunities, going to trials, starting to build connections, trying to get in touch with scouts and agents and teams and putting yourself out there, marketing yourself at those ages, like I said, from 16 to 21. If I was doing that, I'd be pro somewhere in the world. Guaranteed, I guarantee that. And the, the other thing is I didn't know. I didn't know it was a possibility. Living in Canada, especially at my age, back like 10 years ago, nobody was doing it. There was like random people here and there, but it was not happening. So we were kind of brainwashed. We were told, hey, if you're not signed by Manchester City by the time you're 16, you're done. You might as well give up. And sadly, they were brainwashing players. We were getting brainwashed by players around us, but also coaches. And when you're 16, you pretty much believe everything that people tell you. So don't listen to what everyone tells you. If someone tells you you can't do it, find that out for yourself. If you think you can do it, at least find other solutions or other proof showing that you can do it and go after it. So number one, I wasn't serious about it at those very important ages. Number two, I wasn't good enough. It wasn't until I started making soccer my business, football my business, started with the soccer essentials, started training kids, started moving into progressive soccer, and I wasn't actually focusing on how I can become better every day. I was just showing up to practice, I was just playing with my team, I was having fun with my friends, but I never had that mentality of, okay, what are my weaknesses, how do I improve them? How do I become more dangerous on the field? And actually analyzing myself, experimenting on myself, making myself better, so I could actually make other people like you better. It wasn't until I got to that point where I started realizing my true potential. So I wasn't as good as I should have been. Now I'm at the point where I know I could play professional somewhere in the world. And I always say being pro doesn't mean playing for Man United or Bayern Munich or Barcelona. There are many levels of professional football where you will still get paid 
to play the game you love. So if you're dreaming about being a pro, don't focus on playing for Barcelona. How can you work up the other, get on those smaller teams way down here? That's where you need to start. Get on that team down there. And then you can get noticed by this guy, do really well and get an opportunity here and move up the ladder, okay? Pep Guardiola isn't gonna call you up and say, hey, I saw your YouTube video. You're a really good player. Come play for Bayern Munich or Man United or sorry, Man City, wherever he's gonna be next year. Okay, it doesn't work like that. You need to move up the ladder. You need to start in those lower leagues and you need to move your way up. So the number two reason was I wasn't as good as I should have been in those important times. But it didn't matter because I wasn't pursuing it. I wasn't putting myself out there. I wasn't going for those opportunities. Number three was right now, or let's say like when I was 25 even, it wasn't really my desire. Okay, I could have been pro, but I didn't really want to put in the work and effort and sacrifice that it requires. I have a very happy life right now. And it may hurt some of you to hear this, that I didn't want to go after it, but yet I'm still pushing you and pursuing you to do what you want, chase your dreams. The truth was, I didn't really want it as bad as I should have or as bad as I would have needed to if I was to go after it. And at that point, 25, 26, 27, I'm 28 now, I can still go after it all out, put everything out there on the line and maybe make it, but what, I'd be playing Div 3 in Poland? Yeah, it'd still be, it'd still be amazing, it'd still be sweet. I would take it in a second, but right now I'm not willing to sacrifice everything I have right now, growing my business, providing an income for my family, taking care of my newborn daughter, being with my wife, having this happy, successful life right now, I'm not willing to sacrifice that in order to go and get that. I don't feel that I need that to be successful in my life right now. And as I said, that may hurt some of you out there to hear that, but I want you to learn from my mistakes. If I could go back and be 16, definitely I'd go all out because I wouldn't have these responsibilities and these other things in my life that are so important to me right now. I wouldn't have those. I could focus full time on being a professional. And if I could go back or someone could have slapped me in the face back then and said, hey, you're missing out on this opportunity, then I totally would have gone for it and I'd probably be there right now. So those are the main reasons. And I just want to start or finish this video by saying, like I say in all these professional videos, I put out a bunch on my YouTube channel, go check them out. Being good enough doesn't mean you're gonna be a pro. Being good enough does not mean you're, a prof you're going to be a professional player. It doesn't guarantee anything. Okay, even more important than being good enough is getting yourself the chance, getting yourself the opportunity. And like I said, it's about marketing yourself, putting yourself out there, making that player video, making your player resume, contacting agents, contacting scouts, contacting teams, going to open tryouts, taking action, building those connections. That's what it's about. Okay, being good enough, obviously you have to be good enough because when you get those opportunities, you're just gonna say no, you're not good enough. But there are so many players around the world who are good enough, but they never gave themselves the opportunity. And notice how I'm saying, give yourself, go and get your opportunity because no one's gonna hand it to you. Yes, maybe if you were in England or like I said, Germany or a country with a good professional system and they actually have scouts going to local games, someone might say, hey, you're a great player, come and try out for our team. But when you're living in Canada, it's not gonna happen unless you put yourself out there and you make it happen for yourself. So a couple things I wrote here at the end, location, yes, it does have a factor on your chances of going professional. If your country does not have a good professional system, you're gonna have to put in more work and effort to make this happen. Age is very important. If you're letting those years tick by, okay, it's gonna be much harder to make it at 23 than it is at 16, 17, or 18. So age is very important. Taking action, so important. You actually have to go after it. Like I said, I didn't go after it when I should have been going after it if I knew better. And finally, it's the belief. You have to actually believe that you can do it. So if you think you're good enough right now and you're at those tender ages, you're at a good age, even if you're a little bit older than I suggested, like 21, maybe you're 22, 23, but you believe you can make it happen, then go after it, put it all out there. Learn from my lessons, learn from my mistakes, learn from my experience and my past and my my uh, story, learn from me, okay? That's why I'm here, that's why I'm making this video. Again, I'm not defending myself. I'm, a, I'm not a professional for my own faults and my own reasons, okay? 
but learn from me. Take my advice, learn from my experiences, and if this is what you want, then go after it. Take action, that's what it's all about. Remember, being good enough is one piece of the puzzle. Actually getting yourself the chance is what's more important. So keep training every day, work to become a, a professional quality player, but start building those connections. Start networking, start marketing yourself, start asking why, how am I going to make this happen? And not just praying that someone throws an opportunity in your lap because the truth is it's probably not going to happen like that. So those are the reasons why I'm not a professional. And like I said, you don't have to listen to my videos. You don't have to listen to my advice. This is just my thoughts, my philosophies, things that work for me at the level that I'm at. And I guarantee they'll work for you because like I said, you can be a much better player than me. And I hope you will. I hope you do become a much better player than me one day. But you have to be open to philosophies and ideas from other people. You have to take their advice and apply it to your own game. You don't always have to take their advice, but you have to at least be open to the possibility that, hey, this person might know something. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, give me a thumbs up. Please comment below. Please share this video with your friends and teammates. Please come back tomorrow because let's keep improving. Let's keep moving forward and let's be keep, uh, let's keep becoming a better player every single day. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.